Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today, I'm going to show you how to replace the engine air filter on this 2016 to 2023 Toyota Tacoma with the V6 engine in it. This process doesn't take long. It's real simple. So let's get going. First, take in consideration what you're going to be moving around. The wiring harness, your accordion boot on the intake right here. Make sure none of that gets harmed while you're doing this. Unclip both of these locking ears on both sides of the air filter housing. On the back side, you don't have anything to unclip. You just have these ears that slide into a couple slots and that's it. So you're ready to pull up and get this air filter out. How often should you replace the air filter is about every 10,000 miles in extreme driving conditions and up to 30,000 miles in conventional driving conditions. Both sides of the air filter ears are unlocked. Just lift directly up on the air filter housing and there's the air filter. While your air filter is out, I would highly recommend that you get a vacuum and clean out the inside of your air filter housing before you go too far. If you need an air filter, make sure you look for a link in the description below to purchase one. There'll be some helpful links on there and you might be able to find one that will get you the next day. Now you have your clean air filter, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and install your new air filter. When you put it in, make sure it lays flat. Take a look at everything. It shouldn't take too much effort to get everything to lay into place and to lock into place. So if you have anything not laying flat or the air filter housing won't go on flat, double check it all. Look at everything. It should not take any effort to get this done. It should flow into place very, very easy. You can see air filter laying flat on all four sides. It doesn't look like there's going to be any problems. Now we're going to slide the ears in the back side of the air filter into their little slots first to make sure those are both in the front side right here and also the on the back side there's the other ear if both of those are slide in properly go ahead and make sure both these locking ears are out of the way and push down on the air filter housing the upper air filter housing that is looks like it all flows into place on this one real good lock these in it'll hook on the bottom pull up on the upper parts and that'll give it nice and taut or make it nice and taut and that's it. Replace it every 10 to 30,000 miles. Double check everything before you go too far. Like, subscribe, and share. Let me know what vehicle this video helped you out on, and I will see you on the next hopefully helpful video. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies.